Hey loves, so welcome back and welcome to another Shop My Stash. Today I am in the mood to do some purple spring makeup. So that's exactly the vibe today. I am wearing a purple shirt and I know they say not to match your makeup with what you're wearing, but I literally always do the opposite. So grab a snack, get cozy, or grab all your makeup and your brushes, shop your stash, and let's get into it and do some glam. So purple is the vibe for today, and honestly, I don't have a ton of just full-on purple eyeshadow palettes. I have this one from ColourPop, but I kind of don't want to use this. I want to do something different, but this is a really cute all-purple palette. Very pretty. There's just pretty much all different variations of purple, which I love, but I don't I think I want to use that. The Gilded Flora from Milani is also stunning. I knew there was a purple in here. There's only that matte shade though, and I kind of need a little bit more, but this is a really pretty spring palette as well. Love that, but I think I'm gonna go with something else. I know this palette from ABH. It is this one. The Novu eyeshadow palette. There's a matte lavender in here, so I may grab this palette just for the shade alone. This is so beautiful. I adore Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. I actually may grab this for that wisteria color. So let's add that to the basket. I also have this little CoverGirl clean eyeshadow palette, which is super cute. I love that like pinky purpley vibe in there as well. But you know what? about it i could maybe use this dose of colors moths palette i love dose of colors eyeshadows and these five pan palettes are one of my all-time favorites and i've never even used this one before i think i'm actually going to go with this and then i could do that lavender in the other palette and then i'm going to add some glitter over top but this is really cute these eyeshadows are so blendable and smooth i love this formula and i just got this moon dust eyeshadow palette from urban decay in the color glitter rock so this is what i'm going to use today it's so pretty for mascara since this is going to be a little lavender moment I'm gonna go with this one from Tower 28 because of the packaging alone. I honestly haven't really used this mascara in a minute. And I think when I used it, it was okay, but it wasn't really my favorite, but I'm gonna use it again today because I love the packaging. I also think I wanna do a little winged liner because I haven't done winged liner with regular liquid liner in forever. I literally just use eyeshadow, but let's switch it up today. Which one do I wanna do? We have this Milani Stay Put Liquid Liner. NYX Epic Wear, that's a good one. Oh, I love this one too, the Super Precise Liner from Essence. This is really, really good. Maybe I'll use this one. But I do love a good felt tip, but you know what? I think I'm gonna grab this from the Beauty Bible because this has a really nice felt tip and it's so black. That's gonna be the winner. I might do black liner on my waterline, and this is a classic for me, the Stay and Play Gel Liner from Essence, it's so good. Or I might do a lavender eyeliner, maybe. And if I do that, I could always use this Pixie Silky Eye Pencil, and this one is in Brightening Lilac. So I'm gonna grab both and just see which one I like more. For lashes, I just got these from Kiss. They're so pretty. And pearl earring. These could be an option, but I also just love a classic wispy lash. Like these from Kiss are so pretty. In the style Ritzy. Hmm. Some of these are bold, and I'm like, do I want to go with a bold lash? Or do I want to keep it simple? Oh my gosh, I forgot about these lashes. The Faux Minx from e.l.f. These were all one of my all-time favorites. I may actually use these. I love these lashes in the style Drama Queen. I think I'm gonna use these actually. It's been so long. Okay, let's pick some complexion products. I'm gonna start with a primer. I'm going with some fresh spring makeup today. So we want something maybe hydrating, maybe gripping, maybe glowy. Ooh, let's do the Honey Do Me Up primer from NYX because I don't even remember the last time that I used this. If I ever even did, it looks bright now. So this is the primer. For foundation, I think I'm actually gonna go with a skin tint today. We're gonna keep it a little bit more light and fresh. I have some skin tint options in here that could work. Oh, I love the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. These are so good. They have such good coverage and they have a really good lasting power, but they're really lightweight. So that could be an option. Again, with the packaging, I might just use this Tower 28 one because I honestly haven't used this in forever, but I've heard really good things about the Tower 28 Tinted Moisturizer. A lot of people love this. But I also have this one from Pixie, which looks really good. It's a tinted face gel. This one's been warm. 
I don't know if the one from Tower 28 is going to match. This one's a nude. Let's just grab both and then we'll see which ones are better match. I'm going to grab some blush and bronzer since I'm here. Definitely going to go with something more cool toned today since we're doing purple. I want like a really pretty cool toned blush. Oh, you know what? I think I have the perfect cool toned blush. Wait, I might have a lavender blush in here. Hold on. I think I have one from Honest Beauty. These Honest Beauty cream blushes are fabulous. They're super dewy and they just have a really nice high-end formula wait i know i have a lavender blush i also have a lavender powder i guess this is just turning into an all lavender moment hold on wait i have to find it now no no where is it yes i found it this is the honest beauty lush lilac cream cheek and lip color you guys these are stunning and i don't think i've ever used this color hold on i'm trying to open it to show you but they have gorgeous shades oh yeah this is the vibe for today let's go with it lush lilac and then for bronzer do i want to do a cream bronzer yes i do yes i do or do i want to do powder bronzer I should use this Makeup Revolution bronzer. I used this before and I did not like it, but I think it's because I used it with other products that I didn't like. So let's try actually this today. So let's use the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. A lot of people love this formula. I'm pretty sure whenever I used it last time, it was other products that I didn't like. So I didn't give the bronzer a fair chance, but we're gonna try it again today. Concealer and powder. I want to use this one because of the purple packaging. I also love the Tower 28 concealer formula. It is so good. I think I'm actually just going to use this today. It has such good coverage. It's smooth and it's really hydrating, but it's still like really natural and pretty. So I love this one. This is going to be the vibe for today. And this one's in the shade MDR. Okay, let's go with it. That was easy. I unexpectedly grabbed a ton of little purple products, but I'm loving it. Also, I know, yes, here it is. I knew I had a lavender powder. This one's from Fenty Beauty. It's the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Lavender. Let's pick out a pressed powder to set the face. Ones that I literally go back and forth between is Charlotte Tilbury and the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, but I need to switch it up and try something different. Hmm, I do have the Fenty... This is like a powdered foundation, so it's going to give more coverage than anything. But I could do double Fenty today because we got the loose powder. Maybe I will just use this. This is the Soft Matte Powder Foundation in 230. I think I'm just going to use this today because I think this is a good color match too. And very smooth from what I can remember. So let's go with that. I'm also going to grab a blush palette. This one is from Lunar Beauty. I know there's like a pinky... Kind of like a mauve toned blush in here that's gonna be gorgeous with this look. Yes, right here, pink prints. I'm just gonna layer that up after I set my makeup and I also love the packaging. It's so beautiful, obsessed. Now we gotta pick some lip products. I think, yeah, I'm gonna go with this lip liner. I've been loving this one from Rimmel. It's the perfect cool toned lip liner. It's in the shade Cappuccino. So this is the base for the lips. And then I want to do something more pinky on the lips. I have these liquid lipsticks from Dominique. This one is in Nude Kiss. That looks really pretty. I think I want something even more pink. This one looks gorgeous. This one is in Crush. I've never even used these before. Maybe I'll use this. That looks really good. Oh, you know what? I think I changed my mind. Yeah, I'm going to do these hard candy shiny lip balms. This one's in the shade Meet Cute, which is one of my favorite glossy shiny balms that's pink. So scratch the other two. I'm going to do hard candy. And the Juvia's Place liquid blushes are some of the most pigmented blushes I've ever used. This is another really pretty cool tone shade in Blush Lily. It's like that pastel lavender pink. Stunning. But I'm going to go with the one from Honest Beauty today, but that's another really nice option. I'm like debating if I want to add anything else, but I think we're good. The Rare Beauty blush is also nice. This is like a pretty mauve tone color in Grace, but I think I have everything. Oh, let's pick out a setting spray. Okay, wait. These are some of my most used and loved setting sprays. What do I want to use today? Just 
decisions, decisions. Or do I want to do something totally different? Hmm. I think I know what you're thinking. Urban Decay All Nighter because of the purple packaging. So that's what I'm going to do. This is a good setting spray, actually. I haven't used it in a while because I do think there's better high-end setting sprays and, like, good dupes for it. But this is really good, though. So let's use this one. This is a classic. Now it is glam time. Starting off with Rare Beauty eyeshadow base, as always. I'm going to prep the lids. Hopefully this turns out really cute because I have a vision. But the vision doesn't always come to life. But sometimes it does. This is the best eyeshadow primer. I love it. This is literally all that I use pretty much. Okay, this is going to be interesting because I love Dose of Colors eyeshadows, but I've never used this palette. So I'm going to start off with that lightest shade first. It's a very light muted lavender. It almost looks white when you apply it, but it has a lavender hint. And I'm just putting that all over the lid. And I'm doing this with the BK Beauty A506 brush, which I love for concealer as well, but all over the lids it's good i'm gonna bring this up to the brow bone then i'm gonna take that next shade which is a little bit of a deeper lavender but it's still pretty light i'm gonna just fluff that all over the lid oh that's pretty to not underestimate these little palettes they are so pigmented i'm telling you guys if you have not tried dose of colors formula it's really really nice i actually wish dose of colors was in sephora or ulta because it's so good. You can actually find them at JCPenney, though. If you guys have one near you, definitely recommend. Oh my gosh, I'm getting eyeshadow fallout all over my hair. I gotta remember to clean that off because that's gonna be really distracting. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Going right next to that shade, taking the next mauve toned purple. It's a little bit deeper. I'm gonna also put that on the lids. The glitter is truly what's going to make this pop. But I want to get those purple base tones down first. And then with the glitter, it's just going to really bring everything together. It always does. This is a really pretty palette. I love this color story. I love how small and compact these are too because it's much less overwhelming. And you can do a really easy look with just five shades. I might not even need that other color from the Anastasia palette. We'll see, but I actually really like the way this looks just on its own. I'm adding a little bit of that deeper mauve shade and I'm just gonna smoke this out just a little bit on the outer lid. I kind of do want to experiment with that purple shade though, so let me grab it. Here, oh, this is actually a little bit different. Maybe I will take this shade again. It's in the shade Wisteria from the ABH Novu palette, which you can still get this palette. It's from Ulta. I love it. I'm gonna take that color and put that right in the inner part of my lid. Oh, I love. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Yes, I love it. Okay, it's coming together. That purple is exactly what i needed i'm gonna take the urban decay moon dust eyeshadow in the shade glitter rock oh so so pretty what's really nice about these is that you can just take them on your finger this is almost by the way like a purple pink glitter and it is perfection i'm gonna just tap that all over the lid i almost wish it popped even more what it was to be honest hold on i think this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take that lavender color and i'm gonna also bring that on the lids i thought the urban decay glitter was gonna be a little bit more kind of like in your face intense so i'm gonna just amp up that purple base and i'm gonna add a little bit more like it's cute it's very very beautiful i mean even when you swatch it it's stunning but I feel like on the lids, it just doesn't really look like on the level. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty, but I was expecting a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Sorry about those motorcycles. My goodness, it's like a part of my videos at this point. I want a little bit more of a pop and this is not really doing it for me like I thought. 
I have this liquid eyeshadow here from e.l.f. This one is in the color Purple Rain. I think I'm going to put this on the lid and just to give it a little bit more of a pop. Hopefully this will help. I think it will. I'm just going to apply it with my brush. I'm going to do tapping motions. Yes. It's a little bit darker though than the color that I had underneath. I wish it was a little bit more light, but it has a bit more of like a sparkle than the one from Urban Decay. Oh, but I love that light lavender shade and this kind of covered that up a little bit, which I'm sad about because I do love this color right here. But look at that Urban Decay glitter. It doesn't even really pop as much. This from e.l.f. looks way more sparkly. It's just, it's a little bit darker, but it's still cute. Like I want a little bit of that glimmer in there. And the Moon Dust eyeshadow from Urban Decay, it's pretty, but I feel like with this, it kind of just got lost and you can't even really see a lot of that glimmer in the eyeshadow. So that's unfortunate because it's stunning, but we're gonna stick with e.l.f. because e.l.f. is just super sparkly yeah okay elf for the win this took a little turn but we're making it work as always and this is exactly why sometimes i just use my fenty beauty diamond balm because it literally is the best glitter and it looks good over any eyeshadow i'm like about ready to take that out of my drawer and put it over this i think this from elf though it's getting a little bit dried out just a little, but it's still so pretty. Very pretty. Mine's getting a little bit dried out, but it's still stunning and I love that sparkle. That's what I was looking for with the Urban Decay and I just didn't get it. So, e.l.f. for the win. Let's do a wing. I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bible liner. This is the Magic Liner and the packaging is stunning, but I love the felt tip and it's also really, really black. So that's why I wanted to use it today. I popped on the lashes. I love these e.l.f. lashes. We need to petition to tell e.l.f. to bring back their lashes. They're so good. They're very voluminous and full, but I remember why I used to love them so much. Okay, the liner is fabulous. I needed a little extra time today to perfect my wings though because I'm not used to using liquid liner anymore. I literally only pretty much use black eyeshadow to do my wings and I think I like it a little bit more than traditional liquid liner. It's a lot less harsh and I feel like my wings just look better whenever I do eyeshadow instead of liner. Anyways. Let's move into the skin. NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. I actually don't think I've ever used this before. Oh wow, it's very like sticky like honey. I guess I'll just put it directly on my face. My face is clean. Mmm, it smells good. It has like a minty kind of smell. It feels like a serum on the skin. Oh, that feels good. Definitely feels like skincare. Oh, I needed that. That definitely made my skin super dewy. Oh, that feels good. It almost goes on like a serum, almost just like a jelly type of texture. And then once it fully absorbs, it feels so hydrating. Okay, love that so far. I think I want to go with the Tower 28 Tinted Moisturizer today. Hopefully this matches. I'm not sure if this is a good color in the shade 20. I got a little bit of a tan, but it's pretty much faded at this point. So we're gonna just try to make this color work. I think it will work actually. Maybe a little bit too light, but we're gonna bronze and I think it should be fine. Oh my God, it smells like a crayon box. Like you know when you're little and you have all your crayons in a crayon box at like an elementary school? That's what this smells like. Very interesting, very nostalgic. Oh my god, it literally smells like a crayon box. This color is a little bit too light, but like I said, we're gonna make it work with the bronzer and everything. That looks so pretty though. Wow. It's actually a little bit thicker, but I love the way it blends and it gives coverage. I'm actually really impressed with this. I don't remember if I tested this out before, but I can see why so many people love it because you have that SPF in there. It feels like a tinted moisturizer. It's very lightweight, but it definitely does a nice job at evening out your skin tone and covering up, but in the most natural way. Like I had that blemish right there above my lip and it completely covered up that scar. It looks so good. Okay, I like this a lot. I need to get a better shade, but 
still really nice formula i'm into it let's go in with the concealer now i also love this concealer this also has a really good coverage and love also just like the thin creamy formula it's sort of like the one from fenty in a way a little bit which i've also really been loving i feel like the one from fenty maybe has a little bit extra coverage but this is still great for every day especially if you love something hydrating there is a fuzzy like on my eyelash and it's hitting my eye and i need to get it i think i see it it's bothering me so bad i got it oh my gosh you know when you finally get that little tiny fuzzy and it's so satisfying it was like jabbing at my eye it's always the smallest things that irritate your eyes it's so crazy to me but the concealer ironically is a little bit darker than the rest of my face but i still love it it's just very fresh glowy natural type of makeup so if that's your vibe I would definitely check out Tower 28 for sure. I'm gonna add a little extra concealer just above my lip. And let's add some cream bronzer and blush. Let's start off with the blush first. I'm gonna go in with this one from Honest Beauty in Lush Lilac. I've never used this color before, but I have used Honest Beauty blushes and they are so good. I feel like they're very underrated. Nobody really talks about them. I've never heard at least anybody talk about them, but they're amazing. The packaging is also really nice and they just have like a really luxe, hydrating, dewy, very pigmented formula. I love it. They have really great shades. You can get them on Amazon actually too, but... Oh, that's cute. It's like a little, literally like a lilac purpley pink. Very pretty. And these take pretty much little to no effort to blend, which I really love. So definitely recommend Honest Beauty. I think the packaging is so cute. I wish, I think it would be cute if like the butterfly was the same color as the blush to kind of distinguish between the shades, but I love the formula. So that's actually a very also wearable lilac shade. You can build this up to be very pigmented or you can keep it really light like this and I love it. And then with the Ultra Cream Bronzer from Revolution, this one's in the shade Medium. I'm just gonna put this around my temple and my forehead. I'm using a BK Beauty 109 brush. I'm gonna put a little bit on the brush and then I'm gonna dab some of that excess right on the back of my hand. This is so pigmented. This color is also really, really dark for it to be a medium shade. Oh my God, this looks a little scary. Okay, we're gonna trust the process. It's so pigmented. Oh no, I hope this looks okay. Wow, definitely need to go down a shade in this it's very very pigmented but it's very creamy though so it is blending nicely i'm just gonna do very light tapping motions until this is fully diffused and if you ever do too much like this situation right here just go back in with your foundation brush and then with whatever product is left over just go over it and it'll help to kind of just diffuse it and make it look a lot more seamless okay it actually does have a nice blendable formula but wow it is intense especially for this being the medium shade it's actually really dark which i love because of so many drugstore bronzers they'll say medium or dark and they're actually so light so this is a nice change you just don't need to use too much because if not it's gonna look crazy we got to set all of this stuff down though but actually the bronzer turned out a lot better than i thought you don't need to use a lot because it is so pigmented and definitely dab the excess product on the back of your hand before going in straight to your face because it's going to be a little bit too much but it has a good blend to it i may try out the color light because this is pretty dark but i think for the summer it would be a good shade for me because i do get pretty tan but this is just a bit much for me right now anyways let's set everything i'm gonna go in with the lavender powder from fenty i think i used this like maybe once or twice but I feel like with this powder, a lot of people don't like it because they say it's so dry, but a lot of Fenty products I've noticed are really geared towards people who have combo or oily skin because they are definitely matte. So let's try this again. Oh wow, it's definitely very, very matte. If you have oily skin, I think you would love Fenty Beauty products. I used them a lot in college when they first came out. It definitely looks very smooth. I mean, you can see the difference. Most powders are gonna give you this like, you know, very, 
diffused look after you set but that does look really good it gives a little bit of brightness i feel like the lavender tint is so minuscule that it almost just looks like a regular translucent powder so i know when you hear lavender it kind of sounds a little bit scary but this is still like just a really nice brightening powder but she's definitely very matte so you've been warned i feel like i needed the brightness though because the concealer was a little bit too dark for my under eyes but wow yeah this is intense this entire look so far has been trust the process and i'm still trusting the process once i have this by the way i'm just gonna use this on my under eye area i'm gonna take a powder brush and kind of just very lightly dust some of that away that's just extra i see a very light lavender tint it's actually really cute i like it it's just very matte so this for me is not for those days whenever i want like a dewy finish or something for my makeup because it's intense but it's very smooth and blurring on this skin which i love and i love how if you keep blending and patting it in it does look so airbrushed i'm going to use the pressed powder foundation now from fenty to set the rest of my makeup this is going to add a little extra coverage which i think is actually perfect since i did use a tinted sunscreen not that i really need extra coverage but if you just want to amp it up a little bit go in with a powder foundation over your tinted moisturizer or skin tint and it's just going to amp it up a little bit more and also set your makeup at the same time. So if you're not looking for extra coverage, then just use a regular pressed powder. It looks very just blurred on the skin. The blush definitely got lost in the sauce a little bit, so I'm gonna add some more. Let me wipe away some of this powder. I'm glad that the skin was prepped and I used a lot of dewy products because with the matte powders i feel like it helped to just kind of balance everything out but had i used something matte underneath and then more matte products it would have just been too much that's why i said i think fenty is great if you have oily skin because they do have a lot of very smoothing matte products but i think it looks really really good though if you prep your skin properly beforehand let's go in with the lunar beauty nude prism blush palette and again, I'm going to take the shade Pink Prince, which is the most perfect mauve tone pink with this look. You can see a little bit of the Honest Beauty blush, but it's very faint. But this is just going to be that perfect like topper to bring it all together. It's such a soft blush. The main moment is really the eyes. So I'm going to keep the blush just very light and pretty. These are stunning. I love how buildable they are and they go on really smooth. This is almost like a satin blush too because you can see there's a little bit of a light glow. Oh, I love this color. It looks amazing. I'm using whatever product is left over on my nose contour brush from Patrick Ta and just applying a little bit right on the sides. I changed my mind with the purple liner. I'm going to do black liner on the waterline to make this really sultry. I'm going to take some of the mauve toned color in here. And we're gonna smudge that out a little bit right on the lash line. I'm gonna smudge it against that black liner too. It's later in the evening and I can hear the birds chirping outside and it's still light out. And I just know spring is like literally right around the corner and I'm so excited you guys. I feel like I'm just always reborn in the spring. And ironically my birthday is also in spring too but I'm so happy that winter is just about over because I'm like just about to lose my mind because the winter is just too much. I'm gonna take more of this, I wanna call this a whimsical color, but the shade is Wisteria, but I'm gonna take this whimsical purple and I'm gonna put that in the inner corners because I wanna make that pop a little bit more. Little Tower 28 mascara. I don't think this is a bad mascara. It's just not my personal favorite. I think there's better ones. Like if you're gonna go to Sephora and splurge on a mascara, I always recommend the one from Rare Beauty. Again, this one's not bad. It does give some length and it separates my lashes, which I always like, but you really don't need to splurge on a mascara, you know? Like you can literally get so many good ones at the drugstore. But if you must, go with Rare Beauty. Definitely gives some nice length though. 
Now for the lip combo, I am so excited about this because this lip liner has me in a chokehold currently. It is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Cappuccino. It is the perfect cool toned lip liner that isn't like too gray or like a stone color, you know, it's just the perfect cool tone shade. It looks good with a lot of different lipsticks and glosses and it's literally been my go-to. I can't stop using it. It's also a lot more long wearing than I was expecting, but it has good lasting power. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so hard. You guys know how hard it is too to find a cool tone lip liner. It's almost unheard of, honestly, because a lot of them, even high end lip liners, they don't always pull a like, cool tone. Like when you put them on and they will pull like sometimes very orangey or too pink, but this is the perfect shade. And then we're gonna top it off with the shiny lip balms from Hard Candy. You can get these at Walmart and I love this color in Meet Cute. It's like a really pretty pink. I feel like it's very flattering with the pinky mauve tone blush. And last but not least, set the makeup and then we're done. This is exactly why I love shopping my stash because I get to rediscover products that I already own. Like for instance, the base I am in love with. I can't believe I've never used this NYX primer. It is so good. It's very hydrating, but it just kind of gave skincare and makeup vibes in one, which I love. Also the Tower 28 tinted sunscreen. I can see why so many people love this. It gave a lot better coverage than I was expecting for a tinted sunscreen. This is gorgeous. I honestly love everything that I used on the base. The Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer is super pigmented and intense, but it actually looks really good. Less is more, but it has a really nice, creamy, blendable formula. And if you have oily skin, once again, calling out all of you with oily combo skin, Fenty Beauty powders are gonna do it for you. I'm telling you, these are summer staples. I really like this lavender one and the powder foundation is so smooth and beautiful. I love it. Honestly, what I was most excited for was the Moon Dust eyeshadow from Urban Decay, and it just did not give me that sparkly touch that I love. It's pretty, but maybe it might work with a neutral eyeshadow instead of purple on purple. Maybe it was just a little bit too much and it just couldn't shine through. But luckily, e.l.f. came through and saved the look, per usual. e.l.f., we need the lashes back, though. I would love e.l.f. to come out with just, like, all different kinds of lashes, an assortment of different ones. e.l.f.? Maybe you're watching, you're probably not, but let's get some lashes back because these are so pretty. I love them. Uh, but yeah, that is everything for this look. A friendly reminder to shop your stash. Don't forget to use up those products you already own and do a spring look. Do a pop of color. Do some purple. Do something other than a neutral look. I know, that's like what I need to hear all the time, but... I did some color today and I'm not mad about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.